We start the chapter with Hiyori and Lisa, and Hiyori smells the presence of a Soul Reaper and sees a strange rip. Yuki is now awake safely with Ichigo in the Kurosaki clinic. First thing that's on my mind right now is where's Yuki? Last I saw her, she was almost mauled to death by a hollow. Can I also say that I was confused for a second because where Ichigo lives, it's called Kurosaki Clinic and I completely forgot that was the case. I was like, wait, is this new? Is the Kurosaki Clinic new? But no, it was, it's always been there. I gotta, I gotta step it up, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Orihime brings some bread for everyone about a second later. And afterwards, Ichigo starts talking shit about the bread that she just offered. <laughs> Granted that it was bread that they were going to toss away. I get it, though. My boy Ichigo, no simp. And he's not going to take anything and everything she offers. <laughs> Anyways, Uryu and Chad enters the room after meeting up with Yuzu outside. Count on Uryu and Ichigo to start talking shit to each other as soon as they see each other. It's fucking great. Yuki freaks out. And just now realizes Ichigo is the one that saved him the other night. And think it's only been a night that he's been passed out. But Ichigo corrects him as it's actually been a full day that Yuki has been out. We then see what happened with the Hollows the previous chapter after Yuki passed out. I'm expecting Ichigo to just one shot these Hollows to be honest with you. But that's when Uryu shoots his arrows Ichigo's way to hit the Hollows. And the whole gang is here too. Orihime and Chad pops up and Orihime heals Yuki a bit. I have to say, I love seeing these guys all as a team. They look fucking great and I know they absolutely destroyed those hollows no problem. But part of me wish I'd see them do exactly that just to see some action from them again. But it's all about patience I guess. <laughs> I'll get there soon enough. Okay, so as I said before, I'm still trying to remember all this bleach info I watched years ago and forgot about this. The Gagai. I hope I said that right. The artificial body that allows soul reapers to remain in the human world and actually interact with humans. I'm mentioning this because Ichigo gives Yuki some food to eat but suggests him going inside his own Gagai before doing so. God, I hope I'm saying that right because you guys are going to clown me. <laughs> it's all good though. Yuki shouts again worried for Shino wondering where Shino is at and of course you get Shino busting through the door a second later, appearing okay and unharmed. Yuki drops the bag and tackles Yuki's ass for being asleep all day and healed up. I can't imagine but laugh at stupid moments like this because Ichigo and the gang are all paying more attention to what they're about to eat than all the bickering in the background. Cut to Ikaku and he's running. What for? Well, people in Rukan Gai are just disappearing and he's trying to find out why. Ichigo never got Yuki's name as he just realizes it. So as he's pretty much asking out what his name was, another voice replies out of nowhere saying, You're right. Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Ebern. And a tall ass motherfucker is now in Ichigo's room. And I'm guessing this is the figure we saw lurking around at the end of last chapter. And we see his face clearly now. It looks like he's a goddamn Aronkar. That's what it looks like to me. I thought we were over that in the anime. I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised. I'm excited to see why he's here. Is he here to fight Ichigo or is he here just to drop some crazy news to Ichigo and the rest of the gang? The chapter ends with Ichigo telling him to get off his bed. Okay, now I can tell things are about to heat up with this guy. So very excited for the next chapter. I'm down for another battle with an Aronkar. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you for checking out my video. Like and sub if you enjoyed it. It would help me out a lot. And if you did, I'll see you on the next one.